Stray animals can be found in any city, but people across eastern North Carolina are saying that when it comes to strays, cats in specific, there seems to be a large amount. Our Ford Sanders is here with us in the studio, and Ford, you caught up with a local woman who works on rescuing these cats. What advice did she have? Julianne, Marion Blackburn is an animal rescue advocate, and she says one of the most important things is making sure these cats are sterilized before being returned back into the community. Now, she notes, however, that the city of Greenville is working hard, but says that some necessary improvements need to happen. Greenville does have a TNR program. Greenville's program right now is what I would say in its infancy. It's not where it needs to be. TNR, what's that? TNR means trap, neuter, release. That's Miriam Blackburn, a local animal rights advocate and rescuer. She says the problem of stray and feral cats and kittens in specific has become quite an issue around Greenville from what she's seen. Change does take time, but really we don't have time because every cat out there that has not been sterilized is going to reproduce. And this is not just a few kittens. This is hundreds, thousands of kittens. So what can you do if you come across one of these strays? Well, there are a couple of options. However, there are also laws, so it's important to remain well within the city's guidance. Individual people can contact the Greenville Animal Protective Services, uh, the Pitt County Animal Shelter, and the Humane Society of Eastern North Carolina. The sad truth is all of these agencies are overburdened. People in the community can't themselves go out and just sort of trap randomly. They should follow the TNR program for the city of Greenville. However imperfect it is, um, they should follow those guidelines. That brings us back to TNR. It's a way for residents to capture the stray, take it to get spayed or neutered along with necessary shots, and then released back to where it was found. Blackburn says this helps cut down on inbreeding, the spread of diseases, and other issues. I think Pitt County is doing an excellent job. They have a subsidized spay-neuter program, which makes it very affordable for individuals to have an animal spayed or neutered. As far as the city of Greenville, she notes that, yeah, the efforts are being made, but that she also expects the same level of care as what the county is doing. This is what Greenville needs, and I believe that this is what Greenville uh, Animal Protective Services officers are working towards. And Blackburn says it's important to know that by law, you must house the animal for three days to make sure it does not belong to anyone. You can't do any spay or neuter services during that time as well. Greenville's Animal Protective Services Unit is also utilizing new technology and apps on your phone to help carry this out, which can be found over at WNCT.com later this morning. I'll have that with more information and statistics about strays in the city of Greenville. For now, in the studio, Ford Sanders, 9 on your side.